It's your turn. You start. <laughs> Hi, it's Sandy. We're going to be talking about the market update um, for this week. Thanks, Sandy. You're welcome. <laughs> Uh, I think the week four is getting to us. So it's week four of our self-isolation and week four of us watching the market to see what's been happening. So uh, what I did is I pulled the numbers for us. So from April 6th, so this is from last Monday. So we're just over about eight days in the uh, Toronto area. It, the houses that are for sale. So this is detached freehold townhomes and semi-detached. Believe it or not, there were 185 listings that came up on the market. And 11 of those have sold conditional. And in the same time period, 62 have actually sold. So out of the 185 listings, 62 have sold. Some of them sold very quickly within one to five days and with very short closings of two to three or four weeks versus the normal 60 days out that we see. And the price ranges went from 700000 up to over $3 million. So it wasn't as if the homes that were selling were in the price range of only 800000 or 900000 They were across the spectrum. So what's happening to condos and condo townhouses in Toronto? So from April 6th, there were 180 new condos that were listed that were under 650000 and there were 172 condos that were listed over 650,000 that actually went up to over 3.7 million, believe it or not. So there were, that means there were 350 condos and condo townhouses listed in Toronto since April 6th. So has the market slowed down? Well, it slowed down from the spring market, but it hasn't completely slowed down and stopped with COVID-19. So out of those condos that were listed 350 plus, 65 condos sold in the same time period from April 6th, and their sold prices were from 600,000 to over a million. Uh, and there were even some condos that were selling um, in the $300,000 range that were either on the far east end of the city or around Dixon that normally sell at that lower price. So why are people listing and selling? The reasons that we're finding is that some of them have to move. So the majority of the reason is that either A, people had already bought pre-COVID and they have their closing coming up, let's say in May or in June, and they're afraid to lose their deposit, especially if they put down a deposit of 100,000 or 150,000 or even 50,000 or 30,000. They don't wanna lose it. So they're willing to take a loss on their property now to sell the property to move forward. And also, unfortunately, some people, let's say if they've lost their jobs or one or the other partners lost their jobs and their bank won't let them refinance or won't let them defer payments, then those people are also desperate to sell to at least get something out of the property. Those are the ones that are the most unfortunate, I think, in, in our opinion. Mm -hmm. For investors, you can buy. It is an opportunity, um, unfortunately, for for the people that are selling, but fortunately for you. And you know, for the how, the properties that really want to sell, it is a benefit to them if there is an investor purchasing. We talked about last week, the fact that homes are not appraising at the same price they were. So if you're expecting, because your house down the street in March 1st sold for a million, you shouldn't be expecting a million. You're now about 10% under, so you would be around 900,000 is where the appraisals are coming in. And we expect potentially this week, those appraisals may come in slightly lower than that 7 to 10 percent range that the banks and the financial institutions were appraising the properties at. So if you have extra cash, and I remember as an investor, if you're getting a mortgage, you need a minimum of 35 percent down, usually 30 to 35, plus now you'll need extra cash. So if you have the cash, it's a great time to get in the market and to buy if you're a first time home buyer and you haven't bought before and you are really educated on how to buy, then it's another good time to get in. But you really have to know what you're doing. Um, we would work closely with you and to talk you through the process because it is a bit complicated, as we had said last year, uh, last week, especially with uh, how the showings work and, and, and some of the obviously potential risks. So that's what's happening in the market. Um, the other part we're talking about just shortly is front porch portraits. So I've got my big camera here, if you can see with the zoom telephoto lens. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be participating in front porch portraits. It's one month since self-isolation self started, March 16th. Um, so we are going to do on April 16th, 17th and 18th, we are coming to you. 
in a very safe way with a big zoom lens at the end of your uh, driveway or at the end of your sidewalk, and we're going to do the portraits for you. So anyone can sign up. Uh, we are um, accepting donations. Two of our causes that are near and dear to our hearts that are asking for help is the Mimico Food Bank and Caledon Community Services, CCS, which also supports uh, food banks and for um, people that are PSWs and all kinds of other services that are going out to the community. So any donation is great for that. If you don't have the ability to make a donation, that's fine. We'll come out and do your portraits anyways. So you're gonna I'm gonna send an email out separately about that. You can reply back. You can be serious, you can be funny. Sandy loves the funny ones. You can hold signs of inspiration, but it's really to capture this moment in time. I've been reading the articles and for some families, it's a way for them to actually have an activity they can work on with the kids as they figure out what their scene they wanna do or what their portrait is going to look like. So take a look for that email from us coming out later today about how to sign up. And we'll be doing that April 16th, 17th and 18th. Um, I have, I'm an amateur photographer with, you can see the big camera we've got with the zoom lens and we'll be editing them in Photoshop. So we will make everybody look good. So with that, we hope that you are safe um, and sound as we continue into this very unusual time in our lives. We are thinking of each and every one of you every day. Yes, so we're hoping that you are finding all these videos very interesting. Perfect. So thank you so much and stay tuned for next week's and look for our email more about the front porch portraits. See ya.